All right, Ms. Pratham. <coughs> so um, we move on to your next set of problems in stoichiometry, um, in which uh, very similar to what we were doing last time. Suppose you have 10 grams of hydrogen gas that's given, right? Uh, so 10 grams of hydrogen gas that's given, and you are asked to find out how many grams of oxygen do we need? How many grams of oxygen do we need? Right? So it is not, please note, it is not how many grams of the products being produced from this reactant, rather how much of the other reactant would we need? Now, again, the way we do this, just as we explained last time, what we have to do, convert whatever is given to us into moles first. We have to work in moles. So moles of H2 that is given to us is given by the formula grams over formula weight, right? So grams is 10 grams, formula weight of H2, right? Not 2H2O, not this guy, but just H2. H2 will be 2 times 1, which is 2. So we have 5 moles of H2 that we have, right? So we write 5 moles of H2, and then we find out how many moles of O2 do we need, right? And why O2? Well, because we suppose we've been asked how many grams of O2. So you find how many moles of of O2 do we need. Now again, we just simply multiply it by a conversion factor that will give us moles of O2. So we have O2 here. We write O2 here. We have H2 on this side. We put H2 here. So whatever you know. Again, please note whatever is 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 um, the desired right uh, unit we put that on top whatever is given we put that at the bottom okay and then we look at the balance equation here right so this is the balance equation and the balance equation gives us the ratio of moles of the reactants and how much of the product can we get so two moles of h2 one mole of o2 will give us two moles of h2o so that is very important to keep that in mind and so we come here um, uh, in our conversion factor, we look at how many moles of O2 here. I have one, I put a one here. How many moles of H2? And we had two, put two here. Right? So this H2 will cancel and this H2 will cancel. And 5 divided by 2 would give us 2.5 moles of O2. And that's what we're going to get. Okay. Now, now, what they're asking is how many grams of O2 is needed. So... Um, the conversion factor again to convert moles to grams. We know grams is equal to moles multiplied by formula weight, right? So moles we have two and a half, two point five moles, and the formula weight of O2 is not sixteen but sixteen multiplied by two, thirty-two, right? So if we do that, thirty-two times two and a half is sixty-four. Oh, let's see, thirty-two times two and a half. Um, 32 would be 80 grams, so we'll get 80 grams of O2 that will be needed. All right, I hope this was helpful, and you just have to practice some more, and things should really clear up then. All right.